In stock form, the sump is referred to as a wet sump. All of the oil to lubricate the engine is contained in the sump at the bottom of the engine. Now that lubricating oil is an essential part if you want to keep your engine intact and in one piece. On the other hand though, when we take that car, start modifying it, pulling maybe in excess of 1.3, 1.4 G in corners and under brakes for that matter, then the wet sump system doesn't work so well. The dry sump system addresses this by remotely mounting a tank which contains all of the oil. The general design of that reservoir, they're relatively narrow but quite tall. Even with a low oil level, there's always going to be oil down the bottom near the pickup, regardless of the g-forces that the car's experiencing. While a dry sump system like this could be considered an essential item at the top levels of competition where very high g-forces are being experienced, it's all about understanding the pros and cons of each approach and deciding on the best compromise for your particular project.